Today, we're gonna talk about how to simplify your life. Something we all talk about, but do we actually execute on it? Had an opportunity recently at a conference to speak with an author of a book titled 21 Secrets of Million Dollar Sellers. Not just in the financial world, but several industries. Great opportunity, great talk. Stay tuned, we're gonna discuss this and much more. Hey, welcome back. This is Michael Loftus, Loftus Coaching and Consulting. I have a special guest. I'm at a conference in Philadelphia, the city that loves you back. You want Philly food? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Philly special. Ready? Today I have Steve Harvell. He just got doing a presentation and he talked about simplifying your practice, simplifying your life. He talked about a lot of different things. So I'm going to ask him his opinion on some of this and hopefully bring some great wisdom. He also has a book that uh, I recommend you buying and I'm sure he'll give me his link and everything else. But so first off, at the beginning of the presentation, uh, you talked about everybody's a salesperson, and I mentioned that, well, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm in the relationship business, and I think I'm in the marketing and branding business. What say you? <laughs> That's, it's interesting because uh, organi different kinds of companies call it different things, right? Mm -hmm. Our architectural clients call it client acquisition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they won't use the word sales. Um, and I believe that what you gave were elements that I would put under sales. I would say relationship building is an element of good sales. And mm -hmm. since we did our entire book around the idea of sales, um, it's just a different positioning for the same thing, right? It's the movement of a service or a product from one place to the other <laughs> that results in an economic situation, an, an exchange of value, right? <laughs> but I get, I get calling it that. I'm gonna have to write that down and put it on the right. side I, here for everyone. I, I get that. Um, we just use sales because it's almost universal in what it's understood yes. to be. Yes, and I agree. I think that's the issue. I saw a video recently with a top business coach and he said, you know, the best people in this business are salespeople. And I don't necessarily agree with that because I'm a technical person. I love the charts, but I still, uh oh, sell, yeah. right? So that's true. So uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, no, that's the, okay. The big thing is simplicity, right? And you talked about the threes, as I mentioned, I've done fusion training, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do a presentation, it's three. When you watch the nightly news, it's three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, with strategic coach, it's your three unique abilities, same it's, concept. It's the red light, green light, yellow light. Yeah. It, it's uh, E equals MC squared. It's force equals mass times acceleration. It's the yeah. ABCs, it's the three little pigs. It's three strikes are out. Yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of them. Yeah, so, so talk about that a little bit, right? Everyone does so much, like I said, in our business, we have all these different programs and software and it's complex. We can't help ourselves. Yeah. Think so about how do you get there? Think about it from a brain standpoint, right? the biology of the brain. The, the brain is looking at things happening in a singular vision, right? So people that say, oh, I'm, I'm a great multitasker. Well, there's really no such thing, right? Because no one is is typing and playing the piano at the same time. Yeah. They're, they're typing and then they're playing the piano and they're doing short bursts of horribly bad work um, in, in, in that example. So the brain, when it looks at it, it can kind of handle this division of three elements. And it, it, it it's okay with three. Um, it really loves two. If you can get to two, it's in yeah. love with two. Yes, absolutely. And the brain lusts after one. Keep it simple, stupid. Which is why when you do deep work, work that's significant between you and your client, you're normally focused on that singular thing. And the brain is at its highest and best. As a writer, um, the same thing for that, right? I couldn't write and listen to music at the same time, for instance. I, I could only write. And so mm -hmm. the brain is looking for that singular thing. And you can expand it to three, but you can never expand to four. And I'll give you a quick another example. Mm -hmm. I line up 100 jugglers, 100 people that say I can juggle. Mm -hmm. And you give them all three balls. And they all three are <laughs> juggling three balls. And then you stop everybody and hands to everybody the fourth ball. Mm -hmm. Out of that 100 jugglers, there are only three that can do the fourth ball. Hmm. It's a 97% breakdown between three and four. So force yourself to learn the discipline of that three and you'll simplify everything. So the call to action here for advisors is simplify it, but when you structure your meetings, we're dumping too much on clients. Wait. 
So three, and I love it. Here's our, you know, basically when people come in, here's our agenda today, right? Oh, if you can do an agenda, they'll love you. Yes, I, I send it in advance, actually. They'll love here's it. our agenda items, what would you like to have? So keep it simple, and also with that, I think your message is gonna get through better to your client. Yeah, the, the idea is to connect with your client. And if I wanna know what's the number one connective tool, it's simplicity, that's what causes connection. You know, most clients really don't understand the movements of the international market, bouncing of interest rates. They don't understand precious metals. They don't understand any yeah. of that stuff. You know what they want you to tell them? I can help protect your tomorrow. That, That's all they want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's I, I have a video, and you were talking about some things in there. I just finished a video, goals-based versus uh, performance-based. Mm -hmm. Right, and performance is the commodity, the product, the, the, the returns on your investment. The reality is if you stay in a goal-based world, it's, people understand that. Absolutely. Are you on target? Right? Absolutely, okay. and, and, if, and especially with, with what they hold so precious as their money. Yes, so on, on today's presentation, he has a book about top performers, million dollar performers, went to seven different industries. What is the most common trait that you found from your research? Well, there's 21 traits, and, and they're all doing some form of those. Um, that's what they share. No matter what they're selling, this is what they're doing. Um, I, I think simplicity is, is one of them. And the other one that I didn't get a chance to talk about today is they're masters of their day. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they manage their day differently than anyone else does. Mm -hmm. They don't allow other people to impede upon their time. So leave me alone. Um, they, they, they know how to focus. They don't turn email on until 9.30, and yeah. they work from 7 to 9.30 on deep work. They, mm -hmm. don't, they, don't, uh, they don't go to meetings in which they don't know the reason they're at the meeting. Yeah. Um, they protect their time. Those are two really important ones that are in the book. And I think that's great. I think there's a couple ways I know in my office this is what I do, right? We use Skype. There's an instant uh -huh. messaging program, so my door's shut. If you have a question or need my time, request it, and I'll tell you when I'll see you. With my and I have you know a four yeah. staff right. Yeah. Uh, it's not like I have a hundred people calling you know coming to me, so I try and work on my time. So that yeah, definitely the same is with my I team. I, I live in Austin. My company's based in, in Dallas. We have a meeting every morning at nine. It's mm -hmm. uh, a FaceTime meeting every morning at nine. No one will ever ask me, Steve. Did you see that email from so and so? Because they'll know I haven't opened it yet. I don't yeah. open my email till nine thirty, so they they won't do that. They know that I was doing other work at that time. Um, it's a matter of discipline, right? The, the discipline to be successful. That's what the book's about. These are disciplines to be successful. So tell us the book title, website right. information, all of that where people can get it. You can get the book anywhere, um, Amazon, anywhere. It's Simon & Schuster's The Publisher. It's called The 21 Secrets of Million Dollar Sellers. My name is Stephen Harbo. My company is Creative Ventures. So you can go to www.creativeventures.com access all of our ideas, all of our videos, all of our newsletters, all of our blog. I'll have Michelle put all the information below. She's, That'd be my, great. she's my designer who handles all this. So That'd be again, great. this is Michael Loftus, Loftus Coaching and Consultant. I think what makes us different is we're in the trenches, right? I'm not somebody out there and I hear these things and I hear what you're saying and it's about applying it and living by it. Trust me, simplify your life, get your systems in place, Delegate, I heard that in the presentation as well, and anything is possible. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.